Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to model this piece of hard surface model using Blender. This tutorial is for intermediate users, so if you are a beginner user, make sure you have followed some basic modeling tutorials. Let's get started. Create a cylinder with 36 vertices. Delete the right side of the model. Add a mirror modifier. Extrude these vertices along the z-axis. Make faces. Add some edge loops. Make faces. Select these edges. Extrude them and scale them along the y-axis. Extrude them again. Scale them and press 0 to position both edge loops at the center. Merge overlapping vertices. Make faces. Add an edge loop. Delete the rear side as well and mirror along the y-axis too. Add some edge loops. Merge the vertices. Delete these edge loops. Convert triangles to quads. Add an edge loop. Merge the vertices. Delete these edge loops and convert triangles to quads. Add some edge loops. Inset these faces. Disable the boundary option. Make sure you have turned on the clipping option in the mirror modifier. Extrude the faces along the x-axis. Delete these faces. Choose vertex in the snapping option and snap the vertices. Add some edge loops. Duplicate this face loop. Scale it to zero along the x-axis. Flip the normals. Merge the vertices. Add some edge loops. Merge the vertices. Make a face. Delete these faces. Make faces. There is a triangle on the surface, but it won't cause any problems because it lays on a flat surface. Add some edge loops. Duplicate this face loop. Separate it. Flip the normals. Bridge these edge loops. Add some edge loops like this. Make faces. Select these faces and scale them to zero along the x-axis. Then extrude them like this. Extrude again. Delete the faces. Duplicate these faces and mirror them along the x-axis. Flip the normals. Snap to the original object and merge the overlapping vertices. Duplicate these faces. Scale them to zero along the x-axis. Snap the faces to the original object. Merge overlapping vertices. Add two edge loops. Delete the faces. Separate these faces. Extrude these outer edge loops. 
Bevel the middle edge loop. Extrude this face and scale it down. Add support edge loops. Extrude these inner edge loops. Add support edge loops. Join these two objects and move them along the x-axis. Extrude this edge loop. Looks like I have some unmerged overlapping vertices. So I'm going to merge them. Now we are going to model the screw. Create a cylinder with 8 vertices. Extrude the top face two times. Add edges like these using the knife tool. Selected these edges and bevel them. Extrude these faces along the z-axis. Snap these edges to the top face. Merge overlapping vertices. Select this edge loop and apply split operation. Separate the middle faces. Add some edge loops. Merge the vertices. Delete the front side as well as the right side. Add some edge loops. Add support edges using the knife tool. Looks like I have some overlapping vertices, so I'm going to merge them. Add a mirror modifier for both X and Y axis. Apply the modifier. Join these two objects. Merge the overlapping vertices. Join these two objects. Duplicate this face loop. Flip the normals. Extrude the edge loop. Add an edge loop. Delete these faces. Place and snap the screw to the main object's surface. Select these edge loop and apply the bridge operation. Add an edge loop. Duplicate these faces and move to the top. Delete these faces and apply the bridge operation. Add some edge loops.
Select this face loop and use the shrink flatten tool to create a crease like this. Duplicate these faces and separate them. Join it to the main object. Add two edge loops. Delete these faces. Select these edge loops and apply the bridge operation. Set transform orientation to normal and rotate and move the screw if needed. Switch to matte cap mode and choose a shiny material for a better view. Apply shade smooth. Move and rotate the screw until the shading artifacts are gone. Apply the mirror modifier. Extrude the bottom edge loops a couple of times. Add support edge loops. Create a render setup. Apply proper materials to your model and render. Thank you for watching. See you next time.